Hey Crow back again here with the At Games Legends Pinball and the reason I'm making this video is because recently the Taito uh, Pinball Volume 1 Table Pack was released. There's four tables in it. Uh, it goes for $25. Now At Games did send me the code for free so I did get this for free. But the purpose of this video is really I'm just going to briefly go over the tables that were included and I will have uh, videos uh, for each individual table uh, not not too long after this video goes live maybe one a day after this video depending if I could get them made or not I have already filmed them uh, I spent a few hours with each of these tables just so I could get a grasp of these uh, what they were all right, so here we are. I've navigated to the tables page. Uh, everything's unfiltered, so uh, if you do have all the tables like I do, you're looking at 12 pages. Uh, and before I go and show you something, I want to show something that is uh, kind of new in one of the most recent updates, and it's only for Gottlieb tables. But if you do highlight a uh, Gottlieb table, one of the 22 tables that was originally on there, it, they did update this so you could see the back glass. But unfortunately, it's not for everything. It's only for the Gottlieb tables where it'll do it for. So one of the things I was going to complain about was that uh, I think originally when I looked at this there was no filter for the Taito games by themselves. They were kind of lumped in with the Magic Pixel tables because Magic Pixel did create the, you know, the, uh, the Taito tables that are on these devices and it, they are exclusive only to the uh, Legends products, the Games Legends products. And I thought that they would be mixed in with that but it turns out there is a separate uh filter for the at games um <laughs> so we can filter just on the four tables we want to look at right here i'll click into each one of these and talk about them a bit and if you do happen to like this video please do remember to give it a thumbs up thanks now when you do load these tables up you do get the zacharia pinball uh, splash screen. I find that kind of unusual. I mean, yes, Magic Pixel did create these tables, so you are getting the the same physics and everything. This is Darius. We get the back box here. The scoring is kind of simulating like a rollover, so it's like the old EM tables that uh, uh, Magic Pixel's done for Zacharia Pinball, the EM tables. Uh, this is the table itself. It kind of reminds me of a um, like an early solid state, maybe a late EM table. So in Darius, there's a whole bunch of uh, things to point out here. The main thing are these uh, standing targets here and here. Uh, every time you get these raw standing targets, these specials will light. And every side, uh, when one of these specials is lit, you can hit this uh, channel here and get some uh, extra points. But if both of them are lit, if you can happen to get both of them lit, you get more points than that. We've got two pop bumpers here. Uh, a single orbit over here. You got our rollovers and um, you know this eject hole here. Uh, you can spell extra ball. I think you could. Uh, that carries over from ball to ball, and you do that by you know completing each one of these. I think. Oh no, actually the one up here, and also I think hitting one of the targets up here. Anyway, that'll be. Uh, <laughs> I'll discuss that a little bit more in. Uh, in the video focusing on this table. So yeah, Darius, and we got the really nice music and um, sound effects, and you'll hear all that. But yeah, I found this table to be really cool. And next up we have Frontline. Again, the same kind of uh, back box with the EM scoring, kind of like the simulating the reels. And uh, this is the table layout. I found this table to be really fun, actually. You've got these two sets of drop down targets with this mini play field up here. Every time you drop down one of those, you can spell orbit. By uh, hitting the ball and shooting it around this orbit, you put a letter in orbit. And uh, by hitting one of these rollovers, I think the one that's lit, I think you also get a letter in orbit. But also hitting the rollover when lit also gives you a lot of points. And um, as he hits the spinner, that light changes. So it's kind of fun to kind of shoot up into that area and uh, see if you could hit the rollover. But once you spell orbit, this special light lights and you hit that, you get an extra ball. So it is pretty fun going for an extra ball in this table. And the sound effects are, you know, again, all, I think a lot of them are from the original game. So you hear all the explosions and everything, and that's pretty damn cool. And again, I, I was playing this table for quite a while. And um, yeah, this is a really good table. And here we go with Rostin Saga. Again, the same as the previous two. 
Uh, scoring is a lot like an EM table in uh, Zacharia Pinball. Of course, all these tables done by Magic Pixel. Again, the background audio on this table is awesome. Maybe one of my favorite uh, background audio tracks. And again, we got the sound effects as you play. Um, again, this one, you've got a, uh, a few uh, drop-down target sections here. Uh, if you can manage to drop down all of them, get all the specials lit, that gives you an extra ball. And I think if you could do it again, you get like half a million points. So that's uh, quite a big uh, point. Um, it's quite a, a few, fair few number of points you could get there. Uh, again, shooting this um, spinner over here, getting up in here is how you can get back in here. Another thing that is interesting, we got the extra flipper over here. This is kind of like a hole hidden at the top there. Uh, there's little, um, you see, what's interesting is you can't hit these pop bumpers from the um, the front. Basically, in front of them, we have standing targets. When you hit those standing targets, the pop bumpers start to flash, and then they're worth more points, but that is limited on time, so you'll have to keep hitting those down if you want the pop bumpers to be worth quite a few points. And uh, again, it's just a really solid table. All three of these tables so far, really simple layout. And... I found them all to be really fun to play. Again, if you're looking for something that's more complicated, um, like with modes and everything, none of these tables have modes. They're, it's all very simple, straightforward. I think the whole rule sheet fits on like half a page. <laughs> so um, this is, this is uh, like all three of these tables are very similar. We're going to skip ahead to uh, the last table, Space Invaders, which is significantly different. All right, here's our Space Invaders table. Uh, if we look at the back box, you'll notice that this actually has a DMD in it. And um, the reason for that is because if you remember my video on um, Zachariah Pinball's zombie invasion table, the one where all the zombies come down and you have to hit the zombies, this is like pretty much exactly like that table, except you're replacing the zombies with Space Invaders. And I'll kind of, and I think I've been inserting footage in of uh, actual gameplay while I'm talking, and I'm going to do that here, because you actually need to see the gameplay to understand how this is working if you're unfamiliar with the zombie invasion uh, table. And um, so now, these this Act Games Legends Pinball didn't have the ac the access the uh, zombie invasion table, but now this Space Invader table is very much like that. It is a different layout. It's not the same as the uh, zombie invasion layout. This is like, and that was based off of the old time machine uh, layout. I think this might be a new layout. I'm not sure. It's not really uh, striking me if this layout is similar to another one. But basically, as the space invaders come down, they, are, they attack your bases. And uh, the game is over once all your bases are uh, destroyed or you lose all your lives and you lose a life by light life by losing a ball and you start out with a fair few number of lives and it's very easy to earn lives so um, again you can hit these ramps and um, freeze the space invaders in their tracks there's a shot for lightning a shot to shoot missiles at them uh, put gas on the field to like instantly have their life uh, again there's a tornado and a fireball power up it's incredibly different this is the only table out of all four of them that could not exist in real life because there's no way to get these space invaders to be walking around on the table and yeah every time you hit the spinner a certain number of times it shoots an extra ball onto the field uh, these if you're really good at this game it could last quite a while so it, it is pretty fun to play and what's also interesting another reason this couldn't exist in real life is because the bases change locations <laughs> between every wave so that's not unless you had just nothing but lights on the table um <laughs> that wouldn't be possible either i didn't mention it either but all of these taito tables have all the same functionality that the um the other zacharia pinball tables do for example uh when you're before you start you can choose whether or not you want to play in afternoon or night so you do have that option there um, those aren't, that isn't available in the uh, Gottlieb tables, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, that was just a brief overview of uh, those four tables that are included in the Taito uh, Pinball Pack Volume 1. 
like I said before, I will have future videos for each individual table, gameplay and, and everything. So if you're interested in you know one or all of these tables, look forward to those videos. This was just supposed to be a brief overview. Tell you what I think. I think this is fantastic. It is $25. And if you break that down per table, it's about $6 and some change for each table. So um, it's up to you whether or not you actually think that's a good amount for these uh, tables or not. So yeah, it is, even though this was made by Magic Pixel, the price per table is a little bit more than what they would put out for Zachary Pinball. And again, these are exclusive to the At Games Legends devices. You're not going to see this on Zachary Pinball at all, even though it's kind of running on the same engine and everything. I specifically asked about that. There's no chance these tables are coming to Zachary Pinball. You need an At Games Legends device in order to play them. But I think it's well worth it. I would have definitely paid the $25 and thought it was uh, well worth the money. It's probably the licensing that, you know, that's costing a little, a little bit extra money, um, as well as the functionality to use, utilize the, um, uh, the vibration and everything in the at games legends pinball. So it's, it's fantastic. I think they're fantastic. And again, there's more to come. So I'll see you next time.